Okay, so all of these equations are starting in standard form, like an ax squared plus bx plus c, ax squared plus bx plus c, ax squared plus bx plus c, but we're going to quickly factor them. They all are going to factor quite nicely, and I factored them all already. If you have trouble factoring, go see my videos on those, but I went and factored them to make it quicker. And when it's in a factored form like this, we can pluck out the x-intercepts very quickly. So here I can see that an x equals 4 and an x equals 2 will make the y equal 0. And so those are going to be my x-intercepts, so 4 and 2. So when x is 4, this will be 0, so the y will be 0. And when x is 2, this will be 0, so the y will be 0. So when it's in this lovely factored form, you can grab the x-intercepts right away. So let me do that for all of them. So uh, 4 and 2 for the x-intercepts there. This one here, I've got it factored, so a 0 or a negative 4. So 0 and negative 4 for my x-intercepts. This one here, just a negative 1 will make that 0, so a negative 1 for that. Uh, x-intercepts here, 3 and negative 1, 3, negative 1. I'm writing them quickly just like this, but you can put them in the full-ordered pair form to be super safe. The x is 3, the y is 0. Uh, let's see, x-intercepts here are negative 2 and 2, negative 2 and 2. x-intercepts here are negative 2 and 2, intercepts, negative 2 and 2. Yay! All right. So now what we've got, so this first guy uh, has x-intercepts of 4 and 2, so I'm going to plot 4 and 2, and lots of ways to get my vertex. When I've got x-intercepts, I know it's symmetric, so I know uh, my vertex should be smack in the middle. My axis of symmetry should be smack in the middle of my vertices. Oh, no, my, my intercepts. So x equals 3 should be my axis of symmetry. Now I could get x equals 3 by doing x equals negative b over 2a also. If you want to check it just to be sure, you have negative 6 over 2 times negative 1, uh, which is 6 over ne negative 6 over negative 2, which is, oh my gosh, it's a 3. So, so many ways of attacking this. Um, but uh, since we have it in intercept form, might as well take it in between. Uh, so x equals 3, and to get the vertex, you know the vertex has to be right on the axis of symmetry, but I just don't know what the y is. Well, I've got a lovely equation to find out what y is. y is going to be that. So when x is 3, the y is going to be negative 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 8. So this is negative 9 plus 18 minus 8. So that's 9 minus 8 is 1. So we have a vertex, the x is 3, the y is 1. x is 3, y is 1. That's a good sign that it's going to open down. I can tell that it's going to open down because of the negative a here. So it's opening down. And I can grab a y-intercept. The y-intercept always happens, always, 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 any graph you do, y-intercept happens when the x is 0. When the x is 0, that's when it crosses the y. So when x is 0, the y will be 0 squared plus 6 times 0 minus 8, which is just minus 8. Many students learn to just pluck the negative 8 off, but it's dangerous. Just, just plug it in. It's pretty fast. 0, negative 8. So I go plug in 0, negative 8. Got it down there. And then and again, I get a point on the other side of my axis of symmetry for free. So this is 1, 2, 3 away. So I go 1, 2, 3 away on the other side. And I can plot a beautiful parabola. Ta-da! Let's do it again. So my x-intercepts for this one were 0 and negative 4. So I'll plot 0 and negative 4. And I know my axis of temp symmetry should be smack in between. It's nice and symmetric. So it must be when x is negative 2. So axis of symmetry is when x is negative 2. Well, if I want the vertex, the vertex always is going to be on that axis of symmetry. So when the x is negative 2, what's the y equal? Plug it back in. We've got an equation that tells us the y for any x we want. So we want to know when x is negative 2, this will be 4 times 2 is 8, and then minus 16 will be negative 8. 
So we have a vertex of negative 2, negative 8. So I plot negative 2, negative 8, and I've got that. My y-intercept I've already got looks like it's a 0. It happens when the x is 0, the y will be 0, plus 0 is 0, so 0 is 0 for the y-intercept. I have plenty of stuff to plot my parabola. Ta-da! There it is. Alright, we do it again. So here my x-intercept is just a negative 1, and that's the only one I have. And I can tell actually like from my vertex form that my vertex is uh, negative 1, 0. So negative 1 and 0. Um, so that actually is my vertex. That's actually my axis of symmetry. If I had any doubt, I could do my x equals negative b over 2a. And I could do negative 2 over 2 times 1. Negative 2 over 2 is 1 negative 1. <laughs> so my uh, axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1 also. My vertex is negative 1, 0. My y-intercept is when the x is 0. So when the x is 0, the y is 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. So we have 1, and I get a point on the other side of my x um, axis of symmetry for free. So this is 1 away, so 1 away on the other side. That's enough to plot a to sketch. Again, if you want any more points, if ever you're graphing and you want more points, you can always make an XY table and plug in whatever you like. No excuse for, for graphing. Just always can fall back on that. Alright, we keep going. So this one, my x-intercepts were 3 and negative 1. So 3 and negative 1. So the vertex should be smack in the middle. Looks like x equals 1 should do it. It's 2 away and 2 away. You could always take the average of those x-intercepts if they were gnarlier numbers. So if you averaged them out to find the middle, I could add the numbers and divide by how many I have. So 3 plus um, negative 1 divide by, I've got two numbers, so that's, neg that's 2 divided by 2, which is 1 which is exactly where we saw it would be. But if ever it's, if you don't want to graph it or whatever, that's how we're getting it. It's the, in the middle, it's the average. Add them up, divide by how many you have. So the axis of symmetry is x equals one. The vertex is always on the axis of symmetry. So when x is one, the y will be, hmm. oh, I can plug it into factored form. That would be nice. Y will be negative two times one minus three times 1 plus 1, so that'll be negative 2 times negative 2 times 2, so that's negative 8. So when x is 1, y is negative 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's my vertex. That's enough to plot. Oh, well. I'm sorry, they wanted the y-intercept, that would give me a little bit more. So when x is 0, the y would be 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 6. 6. Uh-oh. Yeah. -oh. Uh. oh, this was supposed to be a positive 8. Negative 2 times negative 2 times 2 is a positive 8. Good thing I did that. So 1 positive 8, so 1 positive 8, which makes my y-intercept of 6 look much, much better. So y-intercept 0, 6. Get a point on the other side of the axis for free, and now my parabola opens down like it's supposed to because it's got that negative a value. Ta-da! All right, see if we can do better on the next one. So, x-intercepts of negative 2 and 2, negative 2 and 2, um, axis of symmetry, smack in between, so axis of symmetry is x equals 0. Uh, your vertex always has the, is on the axis of symmetry, so when x is 0, the y will be 0 squared minus 4 is negative 4, so 0, negative 4. 
which happens to be the same as our y-intercept, because the y-intercept always happens when the x is 0. So when the x is 0, the y is negative 4. That's plenty to be able to plot. It does open up like we knew it would because the a value is positive. Check. One last one. My x and That's your factored form, which means it has um, intercepts of 0 and 4, which means my fact my x-intercepts are 0 and 4, so the axis of symmetry should be smack in between the average at 2. So I have x equals 2. And so if I want the vertex when x is 2, the y should be y equals negative 3 times 2, 2 minus 4. I can either plug it into the factored form or the original form. Sometimes the factored form is a lot easier, so let's do that. Negative 6 times negative 2 is 12. So when the x was 2, the y was 12. So I have 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 way up there. And it does make sense that my parabola is going to be opening down because the a value is negative. So it opens down. The y-intercept, when x is 0, the y is 0, plus 0 is 0. We already have it. It happened to be the same as one of the x-intercepts. So there that is.